The Winnipeg Blue Bombers are short home favorites against the BC Lions on Friday night, where the blue and gold are under pressure, under pressure, to get win number one this season. The Bombers have suffered key injuries, especially along the defensive line, while Zach Kolaris hasn't looked very sharp under center so far this season, throwing no touchdown passes and three interceptions. Meanwhile, the BC Lions are coming off their first win, of the 2024 season being the stamps with a new look offensive line that allowed zero sacks Hodge can the blue bombers win and cover you fool me once shame on you you fool me twice shame on me I cannot pick the bombers and have them lose again I have to take the BC Lions. This is the bounce back spot, game. though, Hodge. I, I know. I know. And I do expect the Bombers to bounce back. I don't think that they should be pressing the panic button. And I do think that Zach Kolaris will be better because someone who has been that good for that long does not just wake up one day and forget how to lead an offense. However, I have to take the BC Lions in this one. Winnipeg's injury situation. As of the recording of this, by the way, it's Wednesday morning. We don't know exactly who will or won't play. For an update, check out 3 downnationcom But with clearly a lot of this team stars either being unavailable or not being 100%, I, I just cannot in good faith take them to win. Can they prove me wrong? Absolutely. But I have to roll with the BC Lions here. I think Vernon Adams has done a great job of maximizing his receivers. I think Travis Fulham has had a bit of a disappointing start to the year, but Justin McKinnis has been sensational. Alexander Hollins has been very good, and this defense has been tough. So I am going to take BC to come into the into Princess Auto Stadium, especially as underdogs. I did not expect the BC Lions to be even a short underdog here. The fact that Winnipeg is getting a point or two is a surprise to me, so I'm happy to get those couple of points and roll with I think these are two teams that have fatal flaws right now, and either of them could cost them a game, but to me it comes down to quarterback play. And I know you both were banging that Zach Caleros drum for MOP all of last season. You sugar th- you thought he should have got that three-peat. But all of last year, I was banging a different drum, the Vernon Adams Jr. drum, and I'm still banging it. I think right now he is playing at the highest level of any quarterback in the league. And for half of last season and for this season as well, he has been better than Zach Kolaros. I'm going to bet on that trend and that trajectory here and say VA is going to compensate for his team's faults far more than Zach Kolaros is going to compensate for his. And the Lions are going to go into hostile territory and come out with a big victory just as they did last week or last year in week three.